All right, today is all about the legs. If you want abs, you have to work your legs, okay? If you want abs, squats are the answer. If you want happiness, squats are the answer. If you want anything in life, squats are the answer. So we're gonna be doing several different variations of squats, but we're gonna be focused real hard on the full leg. So quads, hamstrings, and glutes, okay? Total legs. So we have eight workouts, and we're gonna do them both back to back. We have 10 seconds of rest in between every exercise, and we just repeat it twice. No long breaks in between, we just kind of do it, okay? So have your weights, you're gonna need some heavier weights. They are legs, they carry you every single day. So you can go kind of heavier. If you do have like milk gallons too, you could always use those because those are really heavy. Okay. When we're ready, start with some wide squats. Nice at the bell. So here's how you set up your wide squat. You go two heel toes out, toes pointing to the corner of the room. You're just gonna take your weights down on your sides or between your legs, <laughs> like that. But you wanna make sure that your hips are coming back and down, okay? I always teach squats like you're peeing in the woods, okay? Because you don't wanna make a mess out there. You gotta get back to your campsite or just stay out there. Just stay out there, unless you learn how to squat properly. So hips come back, down, like you're peeing in the woods. <laughs> down and up, down and up. Very nice. And keeping that chest nice and tall. Squeezing the glutes on your way up. Time, nice. So I would drop the weights for this one. It takes a little bit of coordination. It's a three-way lunge, so you're gonna go forward, side, and back. Nice, at the bell, go ahead. <laughs> good job, good job waiting. Forward, side lunge, back lunge. And we are gonna be doing that alternating these three on the one leg for the full 50 seconds, okay? I didn't even tell you. We're doing all these exercises for 50 seconds. I don't think I told you that. So now you know. Keeping your core super tight. And if you can't coordinate safely doing all three of these, don't worry about it. Just pick one, front or the back, and then just stick to it. Take it nice and slow. Two more seconds. Nice, shake it out. We're now doing the other leg. Ooh. Ooh. So on those lateral front lunges, go ahead and start with Marissa and I'm just gonna explain these. Front lunges, we already talked about how you set them up. Everything's at 90. So the side lunges are kind of the same. You're making sure that your knee is in line with that ankle underneath. Okay, your body just stays right here. No need to lean, no need to like go in any direction really. The only thing that bends when you're standing nice and tall is that knee, okay? So focus on that movement to keep that balance, just to get it right. Get it right, get it tight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Five seconds here, two, and one. Nice. So this one, in when the bell rings, we're gonna do a squat and a jack, okay? Squat, jack in. Nice, let's go. Squat, jack in. Now, anytime we do any jumping movements, I want you to remember, so, so light. Just keep your feet so light and so quiet. And I've heard people be like, you don't know me, my feet don't go quiet. <laughs> yes, they do, okay? <laughs> so just try really, really hard and just think really, really light, think really, really quiet and brace those abs really, really hard, okay? Really, really do it. <laughs> Any squat, you can go in a wide squat, even just a narrow squat if you wanted to. Just make sure you're jacking in. And if that's too much impact, too much coordinate again, stick to a normal squat. Totally fine, as long as your hips come back and down. Very nice. Three, two, and one. Very nice. We're gonna grab our weights. We're gonna be doing a deadlift, so focusing on the back of the legs. Shoulders are up, 
back and down. Knees are soft, feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna come down just enough to feel like a little tug on the back of the legs, okay? You don't have to touch all the way down to the floor because what I want you to focus on is keeping that back nice and tall, okay? Because the second we try and go all the way down to our floor, or the floor, what happens? This hunchback deadlift. It looks weird, okay? Just kidding. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. The workout is gonna be in the wrong place. So make sure that you're keeping that back nice and, and, nice and tall. Shoulders pulled back and down. Just feeling a tug in the hams. Those Christmas hams. And straight up. Nice, and your head's just gonna follow your spine. Time. Come down to the floor where you're doing glute raises. Nice. Three, two, one. Knees are hip distance apart. Feet are two. Raising up and down. Now you have the option to just hold it or just go up and down. Either is fine. If you're just holding it though, make sure that you're raising your hips higher and higher with every breath. Every breath you take. Every glute you, what? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> raising up and down. And the beautiful thing is you should be feeling those hamstrings, those work muscles that we just worked. You should feel them. They're, they should be real alive and well right now. Do you feel them, Marissa? Yeah. Very nice. So we're gonna come over, facing downward, coming down to all fours. And we're gonna do what I call a glute rainbow, okay? So you're gonna take your foot out, totally struggling. We're gonna take your foot out, and you're kind of drawing a rainbow with your, that toe, okay? So here, Take it out nice and wide, drawing a nice big rainbow to the other side and, uh, and back. So, something that's super easy to do with this is we'll drop our back, okay? Don't forget your abs, they're in there. So make sure you kind of tighten them to make a nice flat tabletop with your back, keeping that form the whole way. I put my weights right in the right, <laughs> right spot. <laughs> Every breath you take. I'm gonna finish that line <laughs> with the glue thing. Next, we're gonna do the other side with the glute rainbow. Nice. You shouldn't feel a ton of pressure in your knees. They're just there to hold you, that one knee. But if your weight is centered with your hands and that one knee, you shouldn't feel it, okay? It shouldn't bother you. And I even have knee issues and I don't feel it in my knee, okay? So make sure your core is tight, weight is evenly distributed, and then just, you know, rainbow. Because it's a verb now. <laughs> every single day, every glute you raise on the <laughs> <laughs> I need to retire that song, I feel like. It might be time. <laughs> but now it's stuck in your head. You'll always think of me. Or your glutes, I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna start from the beginning. Grabbing those weights, or just body weight. It's totally fine. Feet are heeled, two heel toes wide. Toes pointed out, coming up and down. You almost want to feel like you're pushing your knees forward, not over your knees, or not over your ankles, sorry, but because you're gonna come back, it's almost like you're pushing your knees out, okay? That way you feel it in the glutes and you're just gonna squeeze on your way up. Very nice. It's like in my head. Every single day. <laughs> I just can't sing. I'm not gonna sing, sorry guys. It's gonna be that song or nothing today. <laughs> down and up, down and up. For more of a challenge again, go nice and slow. All the way up and all the way down. Two and one. Nice, three-way lunge, pick a leg. If you wanted, you could do this with weights. Just make sure they don't get in the way. I would just kind of have them 
there. You know, <laughs> all the all of them like this. I'm gonna grab your little bitty weights so I can demonstrate. Okay, here we go. So down, side, and back. If you wanted to do it weighted, totally fine if you don't. It's still just as challenging. But when you add weights, make sure that you're focused really, really hard on keeping those abs tight. That way you're not rocking or losing your balance, losing your step. <laughs> Just like that. Three, two, and one. Nice, other side. Now I have to do weights. It's fine. <laughs> Run forward. Run sideways. And back. Breathing like you're on the beach, not even working out. About 20 more seconds. So breathe nice and easy. Focus really hard on that form. Five seconds. Three. Two, one. Nice. We are coming to a deadlift, right? Jack squat. Jack squat. That's exactly right. <laughs> so, Jack. Nice. And I try to tell you a few times a day <laughs> to keep your hands off your body, okay? So make sure you're not like pushing up anytime we're doing squats. Because again, it's cheating. We don't cheat, okay? Wait a second. Squat. Squat. <laughs> Squat. Nice. Light, light feet. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, legs are warm. Grab your weights for deadlift. Nice. Shoulders up, back and down. Chest is lifted, knees are slightly bent, hinging at the hips, okay? Nice, so we're not bending our knees for the actual movement, but they don't stay locked, they're just kind of soft. You're just moving from the hips up, okay? Standing straight up. Stand straight up. Nice. And feel like you're almost giving those the back of the legs, which is an extra flex, okay? Again, those are called, those are called the hamstrings, the hammies. So flex those hams real nice for an extra workout. And even squeeze your glutes as you come up. Squeeze. Three, two, and one. Nice, come on down for glute raises. Starting at the bow. Hands are out to the sides. Feet are hip distance apart. Feeling those hams. Little screaming, right? Are they screaming for you? They're just warm. <laughs> Raising your hips a little higher with each glute raise. Exhale. Exhale up, exhale up. Nice, really, really squeezing those glutes. About 10 seconds here. So if you want to for the last few seconds, you can just hold it. Very nice. Flip it over. Pick a side. Glute rainbow. So again, setting up on all fours. 
taking that foot out, up and over. So you can keep that back nice and flat. Try not to like drop. <laughs> Although we wish it was, it's not a Beyonce music video. <laughs> it's just a glute yes. rainbow <laughs> yet. But this will prepare you for that music video. <laughs> just not yet. <laughs> for this time, <laughs> keep your form nice and tight. <laughs> and when Beyonce calls, <laughs> we'll be ready. 10 more seconds, those toasty glutes. <laughs> Very nice. Stretch it out, oh, I'm leaning to that side. One more, one more leg. Take that foot out. Good. Keep breathing. The gaze is right between those hands, looking straight down the floor. Back is nice and flat. Weight is distributed through both hands and a supporting knee. Nice, about five more seconds. Squeeze, one more. Very nice. Lean it over, stretch out that side. Very nice. So make sure you stretch out those legs, keep everything nice and loose. Don't forget to hydrate. If you're sore tomorrow, drink some water, stretch all the things and keep moving, okay? See you next time.